I feel like this is maybe where it all went wrong last time. And Chris isn't here, so I have to go by myself. I scraped the whole side of the car off. To be honest, I'm not loving my body. I'm actually hating it. The parts of pregnancy you don't see. So mummy just picked her up from school and I saw the car pull up on the drive and suddenly it started to drive off again. And Danny called me and she goes, I've forgotten something. She's forgotten the twins. <laughs> She's forgotten to pick up my other children. And how dare you people say that you've taken pizza from a pregnant woman. She's forgotten my children. She's not home alone, the daycare alone now. Every time I do a photo, it doesn't seem to look as big as I feel. It's time to get a new bra though, because these boozies, they're sore. <laughs> Instagram this week said she goes at my eight-week scan at TZ1 and then at my 12-week scan one was hiding behind the other one. They won't be hiding. I should have refrained from my <laughs> even coming out of my boxer shorts <laughs> as soon as we started 2021. Boxer shorts? Yeah, boxer shorts. Yeah, with boxer shorts. I don't wear pants. I wear jocks. Yeah, jocks is another word for boxer shorts. I think boxer shorts in Australia are those like silky things. Like loose shorts, like boxer shorts. Wear a yeah, you don't wear these. He doesn't wear these. Briefs. 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 Trunks. Trunks. That's trunks. the one. Trunks. Low-rise trunks. Oh, I wasn't bringing enough food, and I've only got pizza. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, that's all I've got. I don't like these. Why not? Because like, they're furry. Have you tried them? That's right. They're the view I got last night. <laughs> but... Yeah, PT test today, or when they call, we don't want to know the sex. I don't want to be like, congratulations, it's a... I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a little Boris or a little Belinda. I'm gonna pull in. I mean. Here we go. Another week, another scan. So, there you go. Little heart pumping away. And 10 weeks in one day. Yeah, which is 3.31 like centimeters. Baby! Looks like a baby today, not a bird. Looks like a baby. This picture actually makes it look like a witch. Look, it actually looks like it's got, his head's got a nose. <laughs> exactly 10 weeks one day, which is what I am. 3.3 centimeters. Perfectly formed, just like its mother. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. The parts of pregnancy you don't see. Having to pull over on the way home because someone feels sick. Look at it, 11 weeks and I look about 20 weeks pregnant. I'll have to go swimming with this. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, when are you due next week? No, September. I just feel like a stranger in my body at the moment. I'm super grateful I'm pregnant, of course, but I hate this stage of pregnancy. I always feel horrible, I don't feel like myself, and I really, str really struggle with my self-image at this stage. So trying to be kind to myself, because I know I'm strong, I'm still running, I'm still working out, and you know, this is just because my uterus is stretched, and this is not even the problem, I don't mind this. Anyway, just trying to keep it real. Nobody there changing that four needs four kids. Where are you going? Downstairs. Why? Because I'm running at 4 a.m. Not because we've got kids or I don't love you. I'm running at 4 a.m. And I don't want to wake so the mother of my fourth unborn child up. I'm being a considerate man. I got shit last week for eating your pizza. <laughs> God forbid I would ruin Speaking your sleep. Speaking of pizza, did it all go to my boobs or something? Because like, these have gotten ridiculously big. So now I'm by myself. I might go get the sausage. I'm taking a cat. Sunday, run day. 12 weeks today. Still feel a bit sick this morning to be honest. I'm gonna run 10Ks really, really slowly because my boobs are gonna hurt more also and it's hot and I wanna get my heart rate down. To be honest, I'm not loving my body. I'm actually hating it. I'm so grateful I'm pregnant. I'm so excited I'm pregnant. I'm so happy I'm pregnant, but I don't like being pregnant. I don't like my body, I don't like my boobs. I don't enjoy it. I struggle with my body image when I'm pregnant, but I'm trying to embrace it. Look at that view. <laughs> Wednesday.
Uh, it is gone from like sweltering heat over the weekend here in Melbourne to raining. But thankfully it's just kind of stopped and I do need to go for a run. Um, I need this run as well because I'm so nervous about this scan today. And Chris isn't here, so I have to go by myself. Um, but yeah, so we'll have this scan. I never got to have a 12-week scan last time because we were overseas. So I was going to have that scan when we got home, but obviously that never happened. I feel like this is maybe where it all went wrong last time. Just want to get through this. I'm trying to do my exercise where I do just a couple little mindset tools here. Like I can't control this. I can't influence it. What will be will be. What's the best thing that's going to happen? I get there and everything's fine and baby's fine. What's the worst thing that could happen? I get there and it's not fine. What are the chances of the best thing happening? Pretty high because I've had three healthy babies. What are the chances of the worst thing happening? Also quite high because I've had four miscarriages. But then I can't control either outcome. So trying to relax and just focus on what I can control and that's my mood and my energy now. I'm going to go for a little run just a really slow jog just to clear my head, release some endorphins and what will be will be try to keep a positive mindset like everything's fine i've got good symptoms so so far everything's fine so if you're going through something similar i feel you i just went for a run and i actually feel better after going for my run i was feeling quite anxious and teary before the run and now i'm feeling calmer and my head is in a better space so there you go proof that moving your body makes you feel better um, i've just been getting some weird pains yesterday and today in my tummy but i remember when we had that miscarriage you know like all everything gets brought up right last year I thought it was my bowel because we're about to get on a plane and I thought it was my like nerves and anxiety for flying making me want to poo and it ended up being a freaking miscarriage. So now I'm like, who knows? I just want to get there. I'm also going to be late because I left too late and now the traffic's bad because it's raining. I also don't want to park in the car park because when I, so I miscarried on the way from Manchester to Singapore last year and then we spent the five nights in Singapore while I lost the baby and stayed in hospital. And then we flew home and then the next day I had my appointment with my obstetrician just to check everything was, you know, gone and all that. And on my way to the hospital that morning, obviously I was emotional. My head was all over the place. I was tired. We'd been driving in Europe on the other side of the road and the other side of the car. I drove into the car park. No, no, not just like into the car park to park. Like I drove into the car park. I was so close to the side of the entry that I scraped the whole side of the car off. Anyway, I will give you an update once you've had the scan with me. <laughs> Definitely a little hard being in the way there.